Red Pals Reactions. Today we got She's, It's T's official music video. Let's get it. First off, I want to um shout out my guy who requested this. You know who you are, bro. It's all love. I appreciate you. Keep sending them requests to my DM. Comment more songs. We got, I got y'all. Everybody going crazy. I appreciate you. Thanks for 850. Um, we're cl slowly climbing to a thousand. We're never gonna get two thousand, and this so on and so forth. But let's get it. Hold on, let me get a drink. I'll be on my healthy shit now, y'all. Get myself back. Hold on, let me let me let this focus, y'all. Wait a minute. We got the uh, power rate zero. Shout out to Power Ray Zero. I used to be drinking Monsters at like this time. Now I'm just running off life. It feels good. And to be a good headspace. But anyway, we're going to get back to this reaction. Today we got my man. Y'all already know who we got. Let's just get it. My guy, she, let's get it. Great Day Records. Shout out Great Day Records. Shout out Great Day Records. Um, all respect, all copyrights go to them. I'm not trying to steal nothing. Let's get this shit popping. I'm in my space right now. Hey, he just had a song with G Herbo, so he's about to go up. And my boy Juan Mears recorded this song. Let's go. This is about to be crazy. Mirzy Productions. Mirzy is one of the hottest coming out of Philly right now. And I know you might be like, oh, y'all, y'all right. You know, whatever y'all say in Philly. I know what y'all say in Philly, but I'm not going to say it. Mom Mir's my guy. Get with him. Get with him. He's up next with this with this uh, visual shit. He's been going crazy. I see him every vi every video y'all has hit me with. It's him. It's either him. Vi like I said, visuals by Luke. I gave him his flowers already. It's him, visuals by Luke. Who else is still doing it? Doing it? Um, shit, I I'm going to lock them with a couple other ones. Uh, I can't name, but like, there's a lot of y'all going crazy in the city with these visuals. Uh, Twain Major, um, fuck, all these ski the shooter if he's still active, I don't know, but like, all y'all be going crazy. It's awesome. I, I love to see it. Ski and Mo has got his own project out now too. That's awesome. Brody's got the oh, sees I. So much money I can't even sleep. Man, I used to pray for days like this. It got me feeling weak. Poor four and failed a geek. I feel just like Scotty P. He said poor four and failed a geek. I feel just like Scotty P. Was Scotty P number uh what was the number we say? Scott Pepper. I honestly forget. Cause I haven't I even looked up sports shit in a minute. I don't care I don't care how rich I get, you still ain't getting none out of me. He could be talking about an ex. His girlfriend, his current girlfriend, or just anybody in general that wants shit from him. Because he's on the up and up, and people don't like that. Excuse me. Excuse me, I just ate. But he's on the up and up, and people don't like that. So they they try and bring him down, you know? Or they try and get money out of him. Let me turn this up a little teeny bit, because you can't. Re I don't know if you can really hear it. I can hear it, but... I can read it a little bit. Here's up a little bit louder. There we go. I'm a prodigy. I'm just living honestly. Remember I was talking shit to Beeline like who hot as me. All the hoes that Remember I was talking shit to Beeline like who hot as me. So he's basically stamping himself as one of his hot next next spitters to come out of Philly and to shut shit down, basically. And he kinda did. He got a feature with G Herbo. Um he's running shit. He got some nasty produced joints. Um you feel me? He's just going crazy right now. He's going on a crazy run. But I'm sure this was all strategically playing and marketed and everything. Because you can't just drop music and expect it to catch catch fire unless you go on TikTok and get like a little buzz. But but that's only for the moment. If you want to stay consistent, you gotta like move a little like like playing shit out, playing drops out, playing the marketing, everything. Like if you don't know, do your research, y'all. Like, really, do your research. If you want to get into the music business, you got to do research, real research on research. Like, well, I did research, too, for um the reactions that I researched on music business. I've been studying this shit about probably, I want to say, nine years. So, I know a little bit. 
kiss me up at them, say acknowledge me. Walking in the bank, they hold me up and give apologies. Walking in the bank, they hold me up and give apologies. So basically, I guess he was saying, maybe because of, I don't know what, but like people probably didn't expect him to be in the bank making up, making money in. People, when, I don't even want to state it like that because I feel bad. But like, he be going in there. Now they're like, oh shit, is she, is he getting, he getting back again? They bank, bank teller probably be like, damn, this man back again getting bread again? What the fuck, guys? This boy back back again? I just seen him yesterday. I just seen bro yesterday. Why is he back again? Oh, he must make bread. I wish I was out of cheese. You know what I'm saying? Like that's probably how I think. I'm saying cheese. It's T S. It's T T S. It's T S. Alright, I got it now. Yo, he said fucking up in school when I was young and dumb, acting like so I wasn't so I can't relate to this right to that bar right there, right? Because when I was fucking up in school, like, I didn't care, bro. Like when I was in tenth grade, bro, I remember this was years ago, but still, when I was that age, when I was that age, I give no I gave no fucks about any school. I was like, fuck this school shit, I'm being music. So basically, I just bullshitted all day. Like I went to school Went on my phone, had the I had the headphones like tucked in like back then it was like I we didn't get air we didn't have AirPods yet. We had the um I'm saying back then, like it was like eight years ago, but like we had the we didn't have no AirPods, so we couldn't like have long hair and cover it. So um I had like the stringy the what they call it, the um the wire ones, right? So I had the wire ones, I had them in my ears, and I'd be just bumping the music, and my teacher be like, take that out. Pay attention. Da, da, da. Meanwhile, I'm already knowing what I want to do by 10th grade. That's not really normal. I mean, maybe it is, honestly. I knew what I want to do in 5th grade. That's even not even normal. But I knew I wanted to be in the music business at an early age. But, like, my point being is I didn't give a fuck. Like, I was, like, not doing homework, inside recess all the time. I had, I remember seeing, I never got no, I was, I was a good kid, too. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't, like. The way they, I'm not saying like nobody's there's bad kids and good kids because people just make bad choices. But um, I decided when my senior year I was like done. I had enough. So I remember um, I remember straight up. I remember I was just chilling one day, and I wasn't doing my work at all. I was just bombing on everything because I was like done with school. I knew what I wanted to do with life. And they were like, all right, we're gonna send you to the we're gonna send you to Saturday detention. So I had one Saturday detention. Barely, and I'm not saying this is cool and all. I barely graduated high school. Barely, bro. And I'm just saying, like, that's why I understand where he's coming from. Like, he he probably knew what he wanted to do at an early age or whatever. And kind of just, you know, the school system fails. On, if someone wants to be an entrepreneur, a rapper, an artist, entertainer, something like that, school fails you, basically. Like, basically, it's not set up. Like, if you want to sell, for example, if you want to sell candy at school... You want to get in trouble for that shit. Because the school system was fucked, pretty much. Yeah. He said, no some bulls selling dog. I can't even speak on that, bro. That's like something I'm not going to speak on. It's because it's it's just you know there's some stuff you you just don't say, and I don't want to break down just because of some obvious reason. But let's get it. Keep a palm position, keep a trigger. So basically, he's explaining like how it was growing up, where he's from, and like how it was growing up in Philly, how it was, you know, just shit going on, and certain things happening, and certain genres, different. Every day was something different, maybe. And he had to just wait. And it's like, 
that's like the when G Herbo talks about that PTSD shit. Like it's like you get PTSD from that shit. You know, I'm not gonna speak on it because it's not really my place to speak on something like that. I forgot why my plate's like that. But basically, yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying. I was really dead broke. That's how it be though, bro. You grind, you grind, you grind for years and you're broke, you're on your ass. You know, like you don't even know. But then you grind hard and then boom. Finally, if the years and years and years and years are going hard, you won. And you like die. I finally made it. You can finally sit back and smile. At the same time, you gotta be on ten all the time all the time because if you're not on ten at all times, you will get like sniped up, sniped and shit, like Tupac and shit, or do like Kennedy at the red light, you know. You have to really move strategic now because you were you a star, bro. I do remember, bro, no bullshit. My my homie from my job, right? I was like, who the hell? I was like, I knew who she was, but like he put me on. He's like, yo, I seen she's at a party, bro. Like, my my young boy, he put me on to you. He didn't really put me on to you, but like, he said like, okay, he's buzzing. I was like, yeah, I, I was fucking with you. This is probably like months ago. This is probably like May or whatever, bro. You're doing great, bro. Keep going, keep at it, bro. I fuck with you. Yo, my man, she's going crazy. Yo, my man, Mirrors go crazy with the edits. My man, she's go crazy with the rapping. My man, uh, his manager be going crazy getting him, getting him bookings and shit with G Herbo for a, a crying out loud, bro. G Herbo showed him love. That's crazy. Bro, I love to see it. I love to see people from the city that's near closest to my house, you know, doing great. It's awesome. I love it. Shout out everybody. Shout out the producer on this beat. Keep going, she's. You're going to reach new heights, reach new levels in 2024. I see you going places. Um, Regardless of what everybody say, just keep keep pushing through. Keep being positive. You got to keep working. Ignore everybody. Mom mirrors, you keep working too with the edits. I see you were going crazy with it. Keep everybody keep going. We all gonna keep going. We all gonna make it. Regardless of what anybody say, just stay focused, stay consistent. You already know. Follow me on Instagram, Amy Susanow, Twitter, Amy Susanow, and Snapchat, A Money underscore six one out. Rap House Reactions, we out. Peace.